Ahlan wa sahlan ya shabab. Welcome to a brand new video. In the previous video, we tried to fix the pipeline, but as you can see, unfortunately, we have still some errors in the pipeline. So let's take a look. Let's go to details and it says Superlinter. I mean, now we have to just scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, scroll up, and scroll down after you see the red. <laughs> Uh, just scroll down. Now you see the first error message, linter, and it says where the error message ha happens. Workspace, it, it seems something is app name appears unused, verify use for, for externally. Then again in the same file and on another line, this was on line 85, on line 146. Uh, you know, undefined. Uh, it complains about some, I don't know what, what is complaining right now, but it's complaining. So let's open this file. Okay, uh, this is the file. I mean, it was line 85. Yeah, app name seems unused like it says here and then we have 146 and 152 let's go to this lines okay i mean this is this this file is created by the uh, spring boot project so i don't know why it is complaining but to be honest it's a bash file i mean there is no real logic from us. It's cre created by the framework, and I, I wouldn't mess up with the framework. What we can do, we can ignore. We set some ignore statements, but to be honest, the best way would be just to say the, to the pipeline, ignore a bash file, because it's not our logic then there. I'm using the linter. Mo um, the, the main reason why we are losing, using the linter is to check the formatting, and if we have unnecessary imports or code duplication and so on. So just type GitHub actions, super linter. Okay. Now we come to the super linter. It's our super linter. Let's see. You can verify if you're on a um, proper site, like if you just look in the pipeline, let's look for this, search for it. As you can see, there it is. And there's even a new version out there, okay. I would say then let's grab the new version. Yeah, this is the latest version, okay. Ah, we had here also something, let me just go back. Ah, okay, this is also a mistake. This needs also to be fixed. Uh, there can't be a space, but now we're looking for bash because it's a bash file. And let's look for bash, what it says here, bash exec errors on missing exec bit. Doesn't look good. Errors on missing exec bit. Okay, it looks like, yeah. Ah, there we have it. As you can remember, we, I mean, we fixed this line here to validate, to say validate markdown false and validate SQL files also to false. And we will also set validate bash. It's flag to enable or disable the linting process of the bash language. By default, it's true, but we will say it's false. We don't, we don't need to validate bash files. Easiest way to fix stuff, I would say. And yeah, uh, that should be it, I think, for this now. And let's go. To the next error message, the everything what is green you can ignore. I mean, it means it's it has passed. Let's go down. Let's go down. These are some infos. Everything what is red or and where you see error, this is a problem. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Scroll, scroll down. CICD missing start document start. Okay. 
which line should this be? Let's see, 37. Ah, it's, yeah, it's 37. It's complaining about there was the space, but this is something we fixed. And then it says, okay, this should be this error. Okay, bash, yammer, okay. That should be it. But when I look into it, I would also, I found also another error because we have to fix here something. We have double jar. Do you see that? Like for instance, when you go this file is in build lips, like like the path says here, and it's just one jar. Oh, but we have double jar. This is this is wrong. Another thing also for me, just the naming. I will just name this YouTube task app API YouTube. This should be also the same name like here. Otherwise, we get also an error. Uh, okay. Okay. That should be it. Let's comment stuff. Okay. Remove unnecessary here in the CICD.yaml file. We just removed one unnecessary space. Sorry, space unnecessary space updated uh, action version and uh, ignore validation of bash file. Okay, looks good. Let's comment this. Next file. Here we did remove double dot jar ending and rename docker image. Okay, looks good. Let's push this. And now if you go up, 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 up again to pull requests, as you can see, the pull request already started. Okay. Okay, something seems still wrong, but let's see what is wrong. Ah, typo. Okay, I need to be more careful with copying stuff. Okay, an oh, God. Remove double B letter. Okay, but now, inshallah, so God will. Okay, now we have pushed stuff. Hopefully this runs again. Okay, it's cute. It's in progress. Okay, now the linter and so on is running. And soon we should also get some Slack notifications. And yeah, I think I will just pause the video right now. See you in a second. I, I will wait until it's hopefully, inshallah, finished successfully or if we have another error. But yeah, just see you in a second. Okay, we are back. But unfortunately, we have still an error. Let's take a look again. So it's a super linter Slack notification. Okay. Okay. Status. Da, 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 da. It seems something with our Slack notification, Superlinter Slack notification. There is something wrong. Superlinter Slack notification. Okay. Let's look for it. Superlinter Slack notification. Okay, we are here. But what is wrong? Status, success, fields, text, offer, GitHub token, specify secrets. But, but there should be. Ah, it's not. <laughs> I forgot to add the secrets. So basically, what we can do is 
just take another just select notification like, like this one down here or this one above there it should be okay let's take it let just make sure it's properly aligned like this and now that should be it and let's commit this again and say um, forget to add slack secret committed now I'm pushing it manually with command shift k and let's say push let's go again to the pull request okay it's pushed should start in a second now it's there was it just uh, the ui wasn't updated on github details okay it's starting again and let's see if this time it goes through type okay it looks i mean it's now built the build finished successfully alhamdulillah thanks to god um as you can see now all checks have passed details okay this is done as you can see the build was successful i mean you see all here there the failed jobs failed workflows this one was successful as our last one the deploy didn't start because we didn't merge yet and as yeah as we can see this is all successful and when we now go to hub docker.com and yeah this is this is my uh some images this is from medium.com and this is the uh from youtube but basically they, they are the same just with, the, with another name and now we can okay this now our server or docker compose file can, can pull this image and start the container on the server and since this is um uh, finished successful I mean, normally you would just code review it and so on and so forth. Look at the, all the commits, uh, look at all the file changes. But yeah, this is something someone would do if you collaborate with someone or just do it for yourself. Uh, now everything has finished. Let's say merge pull request. Uh, you can write a summary here, but I just press now for confirm merge. Okay, this is now merged. This is now in our master branch. But if we go again to actions, again the job starts to. Now it's it's building again and then it's deploying uh, the application. And yeah, let's see. I mean, as as you can see, we have also all the Slack notifications in here push the docker hub and so on and so forth this was the this is this one as you can see white check mark we have here the white check mark pushed and it says uh yeah it says here pushed have we coding blah, 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 to, to to docker hub this should this, this is something we can also adapt this is the old image name ah it's it's the proper image name i'm sorry anasif and uh, yeah next we should see the the slack messages of the deploy message but yeah let's see uh, in the next video what happens so